Hello everyone and welcome back to Lawrence Plays Factorio Angel Bobs. Um, we've just, just stopped off here um, building up this station and to unload the solid fuel to fill up all, all the trains in the depot. Um, and let's just carry straight on. No point in wasting your time. Um, am I linked up here? Yes I am. So I should get a, flight, a few flights of bots coming in now with... Yes, here we go. Here are the inserters coming. I'm not used to the bots being this slow. I'm sure the vanilla ones are a bit speedier than this normally. Oh, and there's a robot there missing as well. I do also need to have the, what do you call it, constant combinator, red box thing, and link that up to the station. So let's do that. In, let's put that there. That looks horrible. Let's neaten it up by going from there across the pylons and then... Oh, I've already got a... Um, constant combinator because I don't need that but I am going to need to link this up this red cable up to the boxes once the box has been placed uh, I do need to copy settings onto that one and I need to do it very very in fact what, what I'll do despite having just wired all that up I'm going to disconnect that so that it doesn't trip the tr call a train and then I'm going to copy settings from somewhere that's got one of these things it's a drop-off station yes yeah, like this one <coughs> over to here and then we don't want it to be ordering crushed stone. We want it to order solid fuel. And yeah, minus 20,000 sounds reasonable. No, it doesn't spit much. Let's make, make, make that minus 10. <laughs> None of this is linked up properly. Oh, I'm going to have to go back over there and fix that. Nor is it powered. Nor is there remotely anywhere near 10,000 down there yet. So this is going to take a while to actually start working. Why is this all stopped? Because we've used up all the fuel oil. Oh... Oh bother! <laughs> this is a um, this is a problem. So what I've just realised is that the oil refinery here requires some residual gas on this input in order to process the crude oil into, into all the sub things, and I've just used up all of my residual gas, turning it into solid fuel. So we need to have something here that prevents too much residual gas being turned into solid fuel oh. and I've got all this built up so neatly here as well uh, hang on how's this working it isn't work no sorry it's not being turned in, no it's, the residual gas isn't being turned into solid fuel it's being turned into to lube that's my problem here okay so what we're gonna have to do I think over here is put in another one of these tanks and a top-up an un un underflow valve whatever it's called the other sort of valve that prevents it going through if it's nearly empty so there'll always be some residual gas saved for this system to use because this is vital and then any excess can be used for lube. Right, well this is this is finished and should work so I'll link that back up again. Right, okay I've fixed up everything that I had sort of broken down here. Why are you... Uh, uh, not sure why. Maybe it's because it's not on the train net network properly at the moment. Maybe something isn't hooked up that should be. That one worked. Oh, the constant combinator hasn't been put it stuck in there yet. That's why it's complaining. Are we building those? Yes, but not for logistics. I need to put in one of them. And and ideally I want to limit it, but... Uh, meh. <laughs> are these all trying to get... To... No, they're constructions, I think. No, they are logistics bots. They're all trying to get to me with all this stuff they're carrying. They're just moving very, very slowly because there aren't enough robot ports around. And I think I need one more to fill in the gap here. Oh, pff. to be honest, that's not too much a problem. I think those air compressors are over specced anyway, with more than we need. Okay, so the problem over here was down to the residual gas all getting turned into lube here. So what we need to do is we need to make another of those inline tanks and a valve. It has to be an overflow valve, which is a bit of a higher capacity than I really meant. Now I could put in a pump and have it only work if on... Um, Let's use a bigger tank, actually. I could put in a pump and have it only work when the tank is more than a spe very specific amount full. But this is sort of quicker and easier, really, I think. Although I am adding to my pipe spaghetti in a rather horrific way. <laughs> oh, I didn't put the valve in. And now I just need to get some more residual gas created from somewhere, anywhere. Like by putting these in... in um, here, I suppose. So that's for, Ah, yes. So that will pass through into here that's filling up good these yes these have kicked off that's good and they're producing the little slimy purple things 
which will keep the circuit running round and round nicely, I think. So there we go. Yeah, we've got solid fuel being produced again now over here. So something is kind of working. There's not very much in here, but I believe this should fill up gradually and eventually get to the point where we start making lube again. Ah oh, yes, and I need to link this up as well. Right, that's about 300. Made to start. Okay, well that was nothing like what I intended to do in this episode. Um, <laughs> instead of starting to build up a uh, system for taking out the biters, uh, for building up the circuits and perhaps the, the more advanced bot types and maybe even some more advanced um, metals, instead I've come up here and I've debugged this um, this oil processing facility up here and started making solid fuel. Um, and put in a system for unloading it over here which isn't, getting, isn't going to get used for a while because we're not making enough solid fuel but once it does you should start eventually passing it through and loading the trains up with it. Once I have got it, got this a train's worth of solid fuel in here I'll probably come over here and just slurp all of this out and get rid of get rid of all of the coal so at least the trains have got a, a, a head start. Maybe I'll even empty the trains as well, we'll see. Um, but that's a that um, is, I feel, a sort of a reasonably important um, thing to, to be doing. I make my trains a bit faster, which is nice, and it means I've got eventually, once the residual gas quantity gets back up to a useful amount again, and I'm hoping that this is a net positive. This loop here, maybe I should check that. Once that gets going again, we'll start producing lube again, and then we'll start having all of our electric motors and things down here working again, normal properly. Although they're now, now the bots are relying are, are short of something else. What is it? Oh, batteries. So that's down to sulfur being short. And oh dear, that's yeah. I feel like it's a bit of a sort of a a loop that I'm going to be running around for a while. But okay, so for now, I think we've made. As I say, I think we've made some progress. Uh, let's see see what we can do with next in the next episode. I think it'll be doing something with these these metals and making steel. To be honest, so that's probably a higher priority than than getting blue circuits up and running. But anyway, no matter what, I uh, hope you'll join me for it and um, I hope it'll be interesting. Thanks for watching. Ah, brief addendum here. I've just noticed I've got these two. Um, so I checked through the, the numbers and it turns out that you can't keep up that loop going because for every. F you use 40 residual gas to make one oil residual. And then you use 10 oil residuals to make 100. So each one of these turns into 10 residual gas. But then you need 40 to make another one. So that's never going to work. Um, however, you, there is another recipe for dealing with oil. This one, which turns, which has a different balance of outputs. And I've got two machines up here doing that. And two machines down here doing the one that uses the residual oil. Uh, so, so what I... Um, however, the reason this hasn't been working is because I've missed a pipe out here. There we go. Now that can drain all of the green sludge through into here, and this machine, these machines can start working again, and yeah, producing a bit more of that. So what I, th what I think, because of that, I'm going to take this filter out of here and turn that in and run that up there. And what I'm probably going to do instead is put that on the input for this one. So let's get rid of this tank because it's basically empty, and instead. We'll put in an inline tank and an overflow valve over here. I'm sure I made another inline tank. Put that in there. Right, so that does the exact opposite now. Instead of running instead of running the these ones as the priority, and then only running these when there's lots of residual gas, it's doing it the other way around. It's running these ones as a priority to make the lube. And then if they if I have a massive quantity of residual gas that I don't know what to do with, probably because the um, the rest of the oil factory's been the gas factory's been making it, then these will run as well. Okay, that seems to be a much better uh, way of doing it, and things seem to be ticking over again now. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I'll uh, try and end the episode again. Thanks for watching.